before and after photos from hundreds of our listeners. And he controls the tap. The Gales had the basketball first. Ryder in its road Franbury uniforms. The team from Lawrenceville, New Jersey, just north of Trenton, here in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And you see these two teams when they met in the regular season, both. Stewart, the Mac Rookie of the Year, couldn't find the range. Smites to Glover. A lot of traffic around, but he's still able to convert. Yeah, good job. Pushing the pace by Stewart, not accustomed to handling the ball in that situation, turned it over. Perhaps another three, indeed it is. Went to the lane all night long in the quarterfinals. He was in the lane, putting pressure on the defense. Smythe, right to the hole. Match it up late in the possession. Good quick closeout on Smythe. Every time he catches the ball, you got to be at him at that three-point line. Got to guard the arc. Jermel Jenkins in the backcourt. Again, Smythe finds himself wide open. And he goes and gets his own miss. Yeah, so their first miss from three. They convert into a main three. That limited him for a while. Here's Smythe on a steal. Off to Jenkins. Iona up by seven. And all that he wants to do in the scouting report, all you got to do is crowd out at him and make him put the ball to the floor. Nobody in his area. Nobody in this area. And Jenkins answers with a three. The season school record already now with over 253. So they can kill you from deep. And in transition. Dwight with 11. Terrific look from Penn into Robinson. Got Machado back on the floor for Iona. A young man who was third in the country in assists per game. The junior point guard for the Gales. Rashawn takes possession. Machado. Kelcher trying to clean it up. And he does. On the ball, defenders on the bench. Penn's feeling it, but not so much. A little too deep. Machado. Glover. Boy, did they come. That's a two. 11 points now for the senior from London, England. One thing the zone has done is it slowed down Iona a little bit and gotten them out of that real good offensive rhythm they had going. You just wonder if you can give them a steady diet of it with the guys they can spot behind the three. Nice, tough shot by Machado. Doesn't matter, man or zone, he finds a way to get in. And Miles on the floor. Here's Penn trying the three shot again. And he misses another. Quickly leaking out Glover. Uh, Glover just, instead of standing there, he drives it in and forces the defense to guard him. Smythe missed the two-point try. Alejo Rodriguez pulls it back out to Machado been a quiet ball game so far for the all-conference point guard Scott Machado. Leo Rodriguez begging for the basketball. Instead Machado fires over the top and hits. He said you want a loss for the Gales if Smythe can't come back in. Those statistics only tell part of the story about what he's brought to the table for Iona so far here tonight. And when he first went down I thought maybe it popped out but doesn't look like that was the case. Cut that 25-point halftime lead down to six. I guarantee he wasn't smiling then. But his team did a nice job to right the ship. Made a few adjustments. And they held on. Iona rider points. Stewart had his pocket picked. And Iona back the other way. And that's been the problem. Despite shooting it so well, they've now turned it over 11 times. A terrific look from defense by Glover as he challenged it. But if you can go at him, 
by all means, go. And Rob, do you remember how adept Bernard King used to be at shooting the ball on the way up? He was able to get his shot off before the defender was able to get up and block it. And I get that sense about Ringgold, even with the bad ankle. On that shot, he was able to get it up and over before Glover even got off the ground. Yeah, that's a great comparison. Able to sneak it by the defender before he's able to get it at its apex. Dwight, like he started the ball. Ryder. And there's Ringo going right at Glover. Machado had Jenkins in his sight the entire way down the floor. And of Jonathan Thompson, so they lose another one of those options off the bench. And if Ringo can't play now, all of a sudden you really don't have numbers. And you need numbers against Iona because they come at you. Miles is on the board now. Along with Joe Boylan and Rod Kennedy, this is Doug Sherman. Our second MAC semifinal with a spot against St. Peter's on the line for tomorrow night's championship game. And Doug, you were talking about those three-point numbers, a perfect 12-0 on the season when they shoot it at 50% or better from beyond the three. They played offense. This was a team really built around defense last year under Kevin Willard, and now it's all about the offense. Machado knows that he's going to have Glover trailing. Yeah. And that was a tough shot because Machado came out and challenged it. Bronx got the lead back down into single digits. Got to come up with a couple of stops now. Now, even though Iona's had a terrific season under their first-year head coach, Tim Foose does say the transition continues. I mean, you don't just flip a switch and have everything work out. Players getting used to a coach and the new system. And the coach getting used to the players. Yeah, but it seems like that comfort level has really settled in late in the season. Good looking set right there. Rodriguez stops at the other. Machado going to work on Penn. Jenkins from well beyond the three-point line. And could stretch out that defense with this three-point shooting. Under seven minutes remaining. In regulation. Jenkins for another three. And again, they collapse it. Well, down 14 at this point. Any need for Ryder to change it up defensively or try to change things up? Well, they got to come up with a stop. Even if you stay in the same defense, what you got to do is you got to start hugging that three-point line. Helcher got in deep, and that was easy. Iona led by eight at halftime, 38-30, and Ryder has not really been able to make a push. Helcher with the dunk. And Robinson, no. Robinson, after that terrific first half, just one of six here in the second half. Here's Glover. Lost it on the way up, though. Pelcher just continues to contribute. And for Ryder, certainly not the way that Tommy Dempsey and company wanted to finish it, but they've set a school record 23 wins this season, and this senior class has set a new school record with 82 wins in their career. Banged up a little bit coming in, and certainly they missed Mike Ringgold at his best, but I don't know, even if they had him, if they were going to be able to stop this Iona buzzsaw. There's another three.